Okay, this is a super dangerous video to make and I'm very aware of that. Please appreciate the bravery, don't hate immediately, watch the video first and then hate, okay? I'll explain myself. I am on season four of Supergirl at the moment, I have one episode left of season four. And, you know, I've dipped my toes into the fandom online. I've been around a little bit, just kind of like scoping it out. I'm like nervous to say this. I don't ship Supercorp. Yep, there it is, there it is. Bombard me. But let me clarify, because it's not that I don't ship them, as in, if it happened, I would be against it. I would be fully for it. Katie McGrath and Melissa Benoist please make children. I think that would be iconic. I mean, I would love it. I would, I would love it to happen. However, I don't think it's real from what is being presented on the show currently. And watching the show myself, I don't see that much tension between them. I don't see that much chemistry. I see a friendship. I also saw this video of, I think, Jeremy Jordan. I think people were like kind of attacking Jeremy Jordan for this, of him where they were at like an interview and he was like singing They're Only Friends or something like that. A lot of people were like giving him hate for that and, and saying, you're making fun of those who think that Supercorp is real. And I understand why. I do understand where they were coming from, those people. However, I don't think it's fair, because I've also seen hate towards Melissa. I don't think it's fair to hate on the people who are playing the characters who are written by the writers. Like, they are playing the characters who are written by the writers, they know the writers, they have a relationship with the writers, and they say that it's not real, or hint to it, or whatever, and then they get hate because they're like, oh, you can't say that it's not real, people are allowed to interpret it however they want. Yes, people are allowed to interpret it however they want. I agree with that. And if you wanna see that, then absolutely fine. But they shouldn't be getting hate because, okay, fine, that's just their personal belief that it's not real. You know what I mean? Like, it's just Jeremy Jordan's personal belief that they are just friends. I don't know. I'm very much against, you know, going on your phone or doing something else while watching a TV show. So I have watched the past four seasons of Supergirl, eyes glued to the screen, not missing a moment of eye contact or a touch or whatever. I genuinely just do not think that it is flirty. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to hop on YouTube and I am going to look at some Supercorp videos. You know, reasons why you should ship Supercorp or Supercorp edits maybe. Maybe that will make it make more sense in my brain, you know? Maybe I am just missing something and I am absolutely open to admit that I am missing something because I would love for it to happen. Okay, Lego. <laughs> Arms around when I nobody. came to this city, laughing both the joke I would never trust anyone enough. again. I didn't come here to make friends. Then I met you. Okay, so what I'm thinking so far in this video is it's showing me reasons why it would be so cool for Supercorp to happen, not that it is real. You know, because Lena doesn't trust people and Kara's one of the only people she trusts, and yeah, that's great in a friend, but it's even it means more if it's in a romantic partner. However, that doesn't necessarily make Kara eligible for romantic partnership with Lena. I think I've seen this film before. I made one mistake. Is that real? Did that? Did she actually send her a love heart when she said see you tomorrow, boss? Well, still, still, I do not take that as confirmation because if you do not send love hearts to your friends, then, I mean, I do. I send more love hearts to my friends. Oh, by the way, I also haven't gotten to the part where Lena actually finds out that she is Supergirl, so this is like, big spoiler alert, but whatever. I think I was only ever meant to protect Oh, that look. To be fair, that look. And I guess we're used to being two-faced. Oh! This is harsh! You know what, I should probably stop watching this video because I really have not got to that point in the series yet. I don't want to ruin it too much. Let's watch top 10 Lena and Kara scenes. Because I think this, like an edit, you can kind of make an edit to look romantic between any two characters any two characters, really ever. I wanna watch the raw scenes and I wanna see what I'm missing. You know, I'll be thinking more about it this time round. Whereas the first time I watched it, I probably was not thinking, oh, what if these two ended up together, so. Uh, well, like I said, I'm not a reporter. You could've fooled me. I hope not either. I mean, maybe I'm crazy, but you know, that's the way someone, cause she's older than Kara, someone who is, is up in the world and kind of a top dog, kind of saying to someone who is not top of the world, except she is because she's super, you know. You know, kind of giving that reassurance. I don't know, I just, 
I don't see it as anything more because also Katie McGrath is like a super flirty human being. Everyone she talks to, I'm like, is she trying to bang? Hey, thanks for catching lunch with me. Yeah, well, since I canceled on you the last three times and you said you couldn't get away, I figured you were worth the extra effort. Yeah, what's keeping you so busy? As soon as I can tell anyone anything, you will get an exclusive. Okay. What do you know about quantum entanglement? I kind of take it all back. <laughs> Good to see you. Next time lunch is on me. Okay, cool. Bye. Huh. Okay. That was super flirty. It was, it was, it was, they were so keen. Like both of them were so keen talking to each other. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Like when I talk to my friends, I'm not that excited about it. Hmm. Hmm. The plot thickens. I can't hold Okay, I, okay, so, you know, you could infer it as Kara's refusing to let Lena die and therefore there's a thing between them. Do you understand why I don't buy that? You're telling me that the only reason that you would save someone is because you're in love with them as opposed to the fact that they are your friend. She saves people, she doesn't, I mean, Lena could have been a perfect stranger and she still would have been like, no, I'm not gonna let you go. I was hoping you'd come. Uh, Gala, is that like a party? No, no, it's not. You were literally my only friend in National City. <laughs> Most people wouldn't touch a Luther with a 10-foot pole, but it would mean a lot to me if you were there. Of course I'll come. I'm honored. Okay, and I and I see, okay, I see it here. I do. I do see the fact that she's like, she's inviting this girl that she, I believe, hasn't even known for that long at this point to something. And Kara is super up for it, super like, oh my god, yes, of course. However, she says, in this scene, you're my only friend, because most people are frightened to have a relationship with me or a friendship with me. And maybe this is the very much non-romantic in me, but I actually think friendships are more special sometimes than relationships. Friendships are something that can, you know, unless you do fall out very badly, they remain, that you can always come back to them. You can be away from them for years and then see them again and it's exactly the same. It's something that is eternal, whereas a relationship, Either you get married and live happily ever after, or it ends. Yes, you can go from relationship to friends, but it doesn't typically happen that way. So maybe it's just the cynic in me that is kind of not seeing it and seeing it just as a friendship and actually thinking that that friendship is sweeter than a relationship. However, if they made babies, I wouldn't complain. Wanna make that clear? Drop something? I mean, that's kind of hot, isn't it? Like, that is kind of hot. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. I'm uh, professionally crafty. Professionally Hi. crafty. That's a fast, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't grab women, sweetheart. I mean, true. I, I love that. But I don't know why that was a Lena Kara moment. Okay, okay, enough of these scenes. I, I understand, kind of, I do remember the scenes, and to be honest, my opinion hasn't really changed, apart from that one where they were like, gazing into each other's eyes, which like, what was that about? There's an hour long discussion about Supercorp here, abnormally Adam. I do not think I can justify watching that entire thing in front of a camera. Some people are adamant that Kara is a strict heterosexual, and that her and Lena- I- right. I'm not adamant that Kara is a strict heterosexual. I mean, I don't really believe that anyone's heterosexual. But I don't think that Kara is. That is not the reason that I am saying that this is not a thing. I think that she is absolutely not straight, and I think that Lena is absolutely not straight, but I don't know if they have a relationship. Kara's so vanilla, but vanilla doesn't mean straight. She's the kind of queer lady who shivers and blushes whenever Kristen Stewart appears on screen. <laughs> her most valued relationship is with Kara. To be fair though, I don't think that her most valued relationship being with Kara and not James is something to... I understand why you would kind of be like, oh, but she's not having this with her boyfriend. I think that's fine. And, and comforting your friend like that, I don't think is something that... Just because she didn't have with James, I don't think that they were a good couple, to be honest. Like, I do not think they were executed well. I think that they just did not fit for me. So again, I understand the wanting for they already have this foundation as friends. Bump it up to something more and they will have an epic romance. They would, and yeah, I agree, they would. But they don't currently. Well, Supergirl may have saved me, but Cara Danvers, you are my hero. Oh. 
<laughs> and that that line, to be fair, when I watched that bit, I was like, well, what's happening here? This apparent slow burn relationship that's going to be happening in season six is Bakara and William. Bakara and William? Who's the who's William? Okay, so that's that's interesting. So I was literally just about to say before I watched this video that actually we do have season six to come. Maybe it will happen in season six. I doubt that it will happen in season six. I, you know, they've been fighting for too long. The cast and the writers have been fighting for too long that it's not a thing. However, that being said, they could maybe do it slightly differently because I do understand that some of these looks between them or whatever can lead people to think, oh, maybe there is something more there. I personally didn't read it as that, but I can understand why others would. And so they could maybe cut that out. Like, they could maybe stop doing that. Like, why are they continuing to kind of have these scenes where... Like, maybe just tell Katie McGrath to stop being so flirty. Like, she just can't help it. Because I did see there was a deleted scene and people in the comments were like, oh my god, why didn't they keep this scene in? It's like so... Supercorp is like so strong in this scene. And maybe the reason they didn't keep the scene in was because they thought, oh... Supercorp is so strong in the scene, we don't want to give the wrong impression. I think I've seen all I need to see. At the end of the day, do I ship Supercorp? I would love it to happen. But that video that I watched, the last one I watched, I had no idea. But that kind of confirms that it is in fact not going to happen. Yeah, I think it would be an epic relationship, I do. But I can absolutely buy the fact that they are just friends. Like, that doesn't worry me. It's not like, oh my god, but that's absurd. To me, I see them as just friends and that's okay for me. I can understand why others are annoyed because they've kind of been shipping them for however many years now. I like to leave the queer stuff to the people I can count on, like Danny and Jamie from Bly Manor. Hey, check out my video, I'll put it here on, I reacted to some edits of them. They are a ride or die couple. That is undeniable. All right, thank you for tuning in. I still haven't finished this goddamn lolly. I'm gonna keep working on it. I'll see you next week. Bye.